Good morning. So today we are going to the range and as you can probably tell from the title of this video this is going to be a vlog style video and if these do well we'll keep making them but today you'll be able to see the gear we bring to the range and the drills that we like and we're going to be really focusing on those low round count drills so hopefully you like it. We always meet up at this gas station that's not too far from where we usually shoot. And we were supposed to meet up at 8. It is 7.48 right now, so I'm a little early. Uh, but I don't think I've ever been the first one here. This is kind of a first for me. Look who we have here. I think I messed up the time telling Taylor. I, what do you mean? I told him 8. Oh, you did? I told okay, him Okay, then there's no excuse then. It was like a week ago when we first planned it. No. I texted him. I was like, hey, we'll probably meet at 9. That's what we've been doing. Yeah. And then I realized I never updated him. No. So I've been calling and texting and calling and texting. He hasn't answered. Okay. So I think he's still asleep. But if you told him 8, no excuse. I'm pretty sure I told him 8. We uh, invited a friend of Colton's and uh, he might have gotten the wrong time. Let's we'll find out. All right, so we just got to the range. And it's a pretty chilly, very windy day. Uh, but we're just gonna go over kind of what we brought to the range, why we bring what we, why we brought what we did, why we use what we do, and uh, just kind of give you the insider scoop. So, to start things off, we got a fresh can, unbroken seal of some wintergreen zins. <clears throat> but, besides that, so this is, it's just a Pelican case, and then I have my 300 blackout right here that I'll probably run some drills with today. And then I have my 14.5 that I'll be running as well. Uh, and besides that, those are my only two rifles that I have. And then I have my belt stuff that I brought. And then I have my concealed carry on me as well. Uh, and aside from that, I just have ammo cans with, uh, you know, obviously ammo, mags. And then uh, this is just kind of, <laughs> it's been, it's, it's got some miles on it. It's been through some shit. But this is kind of my range box. Uh, it was an old shipping box that T-Rex sent in order in. And I just hung on to it so I kind of keep my ear pro in there, shot timer, safety glasses, uh, some small kind of boo boo kits, uh, batteries, some tools, uh, and that sort of stuff. But nothing too crazy, nothing super high speed, nothing high tech. That's kind of my loadout for a typical range day. We're on so, what route. I bring to the range, very simple things as well. Um, I just bring one pistol, just the one I'm carrying, and then one rifle, just one of each. Um, I also make sure I bring loaded mags. A lot of people will say, well, if you bring loaded mags, then you know, you're probably gonna just run through all of them. If that's the problem you're having, just bring the amount of mags you think you'll need. You don't wanna spend time just trying to fill mags while you're already at the range. Set up and start getting ready to go. Um, I also bring target stands. Luckily, everybody else brought some too, so I did not have to set up mine, but I always bring them just in case. I bring my belt, even though I don't always run it, if I decide I want to. I've got it. And I've you bring got, your cones that you stole from the Little League soccer team. I bring my cones from from coaching soccer. I'm just kidding. But it's, it's nice to have these. These are $10 at Walmart. And you can set up a line when you're shooting with multiple people like we are today. Or they're free if you steal them. You could steal them and they would be free. Uh, but yeah, that's all. That's really all I bring. Oh, and then I do bring folder with targets. I do have a notebook if I think of it too well. Which rifle is this? This is my 11.5 setup that I've Squeeze. What'd you bring? You brought all the targets. Yeah, I got all the targets. You know, got some uh, a plethora. Of... What do you bring to the range? Besides the full auto lower. <laughs> yeah, that's a given. Full auto if you want to shoot full auto, come with us. Yeah. And Colton will let you take it for a spin. I sure will. As long as... But you also bring typically one rifle, one pistol. Yeah, I'll, I'll always have my Glock. Yeah. My Glock's always with me. And then. I'll always have my 11.5 and then lately, yeah, I'll have demo rifle and then whatever test rifles we're doing or yeah, whatever anything like that. It's a handful of different stuff. Did we mention it was windy? Uh, there's a slight breeze. Nice brisk breeze. <sighs> this is not even... Oh my god! <laughs> this what? 
sucks. What's the plan? You might need to call it and just come back a different day. This sucks. So as you'll see, different day, different weather. Last week didn't really pan out very well. It was super windy. But today we're going to be going over low round count drills. And, oh, I always let this thing. The RM1C from Ross Martin. So we'll be testing this thing. It'll we'll give some first impressions in this video today as well. Anything you want to add? Uh, yeah, the weather is a lot better. We have a little fire going over there. The targets are actually staying on the stands today, so that's a plus. Yeah. I spilled coffee on my hoodie this morning, uh, and I spent about 20 minutes trying to put the Cloud LCS back on my rifle. So if that's an indicator of how the day goes, I might as well just pack up and go home now. <laughs> but we'll see. We're out here, so we're going to make the best of it. Well, we need you here, so you can at the very least <sighs> sit in the truck. I'm not addicted, I promise. I can quit oh, anytime no. I want. I just don't want to quit. I've heard that so many times. Straight to the top shelf. Anyways. So we're going to be starting with pistols. We usually start concealed just because that's how we kind of roll around day to day. We're just regular civilians. We're not former special forces or anything. But the biggest thing to remember is to always change out your carry ammo for range ammo. We've all been there. We've all done that where we get to the range and we're just super excited. And we just start shooting and we end up dumping a mag of carry ammo, which is less than ideal. So we're just ball ammo, 115 grain, and that will get us squared away. You gonna do a low round count drill for us right here? Yep. All right, let's see it. Oh, great. So one of the drills that I really like here, follow me over here, is I'll take this T-Rex drill or T-Rex target. And what we're gonna do is we'll put one in each target going down. What I like about this is it's low round count, as we mentioned, but also you can't ride the recoil up. So I've got the time. Let's go ahead and see how I do. So that is a 268. It's a cold start. I don't Very really know that I have. <laughs> don't say that. I don't really know that I have a part time for this. Um, I don't know that I have a part time for any of the drills we're doing, but just something to kind of test yourself on. See where you're at when you start with it, and then as you continue to run the drill, see how your times get better and improve. So we were all in on these. This was my first run, the mark hits, all in. Uh, and again, just kind of top to bottom, three shots, super low round count, super simple. And it's easy to gauge your progress, especially if a shot timer, over time to see kind of you bringing those times down, the, the more you practice and the more reps that you get. All right, okay, <laughs> follow me. So for this next drill, we're gonna do a Mozambique. Uh, and essentially what that is, is, so you're just putting two in the chest. This is an infinity target, so it's made of rubber, it's self-healing. So super cool, you don't have to mark hits or anything, just throw some spray paint on it. But as, with the Mozambique target, you're doing two to the chest and one to the head. Ideally, you're aiming for the, the head box. Aim small, miss small, right? Uh, but we like to count one, anything above the shoulders. One, because we're not great shooters. Two, because we like to cheat. And three, because you shoot anybody in the face, they're going to reconsider what they're doing. So it's just another good low round count drill, three rounds. Uh, so we will go ahead. So we were in somewhere around this vicinity. They both went in. Then my hit on the A box was up in here. Looks like those two are the same. And the yeah. time was, I don't know if you can catch this or not. Time was a 2.53. And again, not to make excuses, but I am wearing three layers at this time. I have my jacket, I have a hoodie, and then my t-shirt underneath. So, well, and it's like 34 degrees. So. Yeah, I mean, and conditions aren't always gonna be ideal if you have to use a concealed carry weapon. So legitimately train the way that you would walk around day to day it's not that complicated perfect so oh oh no oh no oops that didn't happen so we call it a happy accident simple index card what i did was i took this one folded it in half we're gonna put three rounds on it just from concealment these are all super simple nothing crazy nothing super high speed um again i don't i don't really have a part time i just want them all in Oh, shit. So I threw one. That's real life. That's what happens. We're not perfect. So, through this one. And this isn't like exactly a small target to aim for. But I threw one. It is what it is. Shit happens. 
So what we're gonna be doing here, similar thing, low round count, we're, we got three rounds total. Uh, we're switching to rifles, so we bump back another five yards, so we're sitting at roughly 10 yards. And what we're gonna be doing is we're putting three shots in the head box, again, preferably aiming for the A zone. And the kind of the cool thing about this type of drill with the rifle is you have to take in consideration your holdovers depending on your zero, what high uh, mount you're running for your optic. So this is a 193, so I'm gonna have to hold, I'm, to, for my zero, I'm gonna have to hold about two inches over the top of the target to get those A-box hits. So it just adds in another factor, things you can practice, uh, and things of that nature. So I will go ahead and hit the timer. Typically shooting guns helps to have a bullet in the gun. Um, gun tip. So let's go check those hits. So I got two, and then my third one went missing somewhere. But again, accountability. This is real life. We're not fudging the numbers to make us look better than we are. This is <laughs> this is as real as it gets. So I don't. I doubt the shot timer picked that up just because the suppressor. Yeah, I didn't pick up anything. Again, we don't really have a standard par time. Uh, we might pull the cans off just so we can kind of get an idea of what we're running at. But that's the drill. Super simple. Okay, so we're just gonna pull the can off so we can get a idea for par times. We're gonna let this thing bark a little bit. Let the 14.5 bark. Got that dog in it. So that was a 138. And again, two on, and I sent the third one into the ozone. I just zeroed this thing. I think so far, I think it's okay. Like it's not, it's not a bad gun. I think it's fine. Uh, there are some reviews out there where I think they really kind of topped it up a little bit, but I think I I will say I do like it, but everything else I think I think it's nothing wrong with it. Those are all in. That's pretty nice. Let's do it again. But I will say right off the bat, I really like the ergonomics. I do like the trigger, and it doesn't seem like a poorly made gun. Like it's seems like it's you know got high tolerances. Uh, what I would like to do is get at least a thousand rounds through it. Ross Martin, if you see this, I doubt you will. So send one out to the channel if you uh, are, feel so inclined. Well, I'm just gonna keep shooting it and give my give my thoughts. We'll have Alex who's behind the camera shoot it as well. So come in a little bit. So right off the bat, I want to point out. So I'm a left-handed shooter. Uh, I've Train myself more or less to run the gun as a right-handed gun, so I work the mag release like so. Uh, but this does have ambidextrous controls, so you got your mag release on the right side of the gun, as well as the slide lock. How do they feel on the left side? Uh, they feel fine. I mean, it feels kind of goofy to me, to be honest, but it's because I don't ever use ambidextrous controls. Yeah. Uh, but I would assume for people that are used to that, it, I mean, there wouldn't be any issues. The reason I ask is because I've heard some left-handed people talk about ambidextrous controls and some of them feel like an afterthought. Does it? No, I, it, I mean it feels the same both ways so I wouldn't I wouldn't complain about that. Grip feels, to me it feels similar to a SIG. I don't know about you. The, yeah, the no bore I axis, it. The bore axis is fairly low. It's not a super high bore axis. Well, SIGs have high bore axis. That's more of like a CZP10. I'm talking the, the, the grip angle oh, of, gotcha. the, of the part they actually grip. Uh, I mean it's not, the texture on it isn't super aggressive. It's actually pretty weak. I don't have soft hands in case you're wondering. I'm a blue collar worker. Uh, but anyways, I'll just, I'll send some rounds through it, see what we think. <laughs> I'm not missing steel. I'm shooting the paper right here, the index card, and it's going through and hitting the steel behind it. So I'm basically John Wick. <laughs> I will say the trigger does feel really nice. It's got, let me uh, unload it so I can show you. Uh, it's got a really good wall. It, it, I mean, it just hits the wall, and then there's nothing there. There's no creep, and then it just breaks. So the trigger is really nice, actually. It's got a good reset on it, and then you're right there back at that wall. So that's those are my initial thoughts on it. Is it a Glock killer? Maybe. Probably not. Is it a good option? I would say so, especially for the price. They go for what? They're like under 450 I think. So a little less than a Glock, maybe. It doesn't hurt to have it. I'll say that. Nice. That's tough. 
That's, that was solid. Two on each. So show us what we're doing. So I'm running from the belt. We're going to shoot closest to furthest. So this is the closest target. I'm going to put two on that one. Huh? Two on that one, then two on the steel. From the belt? From the belt. Super belt? I'm feeling pretty slow today. I don't know what's going on. I'm tired, I guess. You need a Zen? No. Oh. The draw sucked. That was not a very good draw. Get out of this shot, you dumb bitches. <laughs> Sorry, let me move my shot. I'm keeping that in. Can you see my coffee stain? Can you see my coffee stain on my good knocked loose hoodie? Anyways. Let me power up let me power up my Windows 94 powered shot timer. It takes a minute to boot. Two misses, two hits at the end. Okay, beep. Uh, yeah, we got him once after. It was probably like a 6.9420. Um, I wasn't counting, but it felt like it. So. Very nice. Very nice. Uh, Alright, so we just finished our range day. To be honest, I didn't really feel like I was on top of my game. I didn't either. I mean, I'm kind of just under the weather in general. Yeah. I'm just full of excuses today, too. Oh, likewise. And but that's, ju that's just how some range days go. Some are better than others. You have your good and your bad. Take it all out and even it out. Well, and the best thing I think we're doing is calling it. We're not going to sit here and waste the ammo. We're not no, gonna try yeah. To... We're just going to call it. We'll come out next time. Hopefully, you guys like what we did here. Um, and let us know what you want to see in the next video down in the comments. Be oh, sure, be sure to like, comment, and subscribe. Of course, but we're new to we this, go. we're new to this YouTube thing, so we're trying to <laughs> we're trying to remember all the plugs that we're supposed to drop. Exactly. But before we go, we're not quite done yet. Hold on. Speaking of plugs, we'll talk about that. What's your Instagram? Oh, Dimple Primer. So obviously, the high standards group in general is the page as well as the YouTube channel. Dimple Primer, and then mine is Offhand Dominant. Correct. <laughs> but. Uh, so go follow, but we're gonna, so really quickly, overall thoughts on the, you know, given the first impressions. I, I like this gun, I think it's a good gun. Martin is a good gun, I like it. I would like to get a better, I'd like to spend more time with it. Uh, if I can get Ross Martin to send us one, because I'm, I'm just borrowing this from a buddy, um, I would like to get at least a thousand rounds to it before I can give you my complete thoughts. But overall, so far, I like it. I think it's, it's just another good gun on the market. I would like to test its reliability. Um, first impressions are good. Yeah, I was gonna say it's since, it, since it's not our gun and it hasn't been loaned to us per se, we can't really do any sort of abuse or torture test or durability yeah. test to kind of see how it holds up. Not that I, I mean, I would assume it would do just fine. Yeah. But I, I feel like a lot of people just go overboard with their torture tests in general of unrealistic scenarios. Yeah. I would say so. But we do, we use, we run our gear. We use what we have. We don't baby it. We don't keep it in velvet cases in the safe. Like, we don't have safe queens. So, again, they're just tools, and we use them accordingly. Yeah. But hopefully this will end up being a, another... Another viable option. Yeah, another viable option, uh, adding more competition to the market. But uh, until next time, thanks for watching. We got fuzz behind us mag dumping into trash. Yeah.